This is another common question I get from a lot of competitors. Why we run a shortened drive shaft and the issues you would have if you didn't, okay? The old saying, we use an X2 drive shaft, which is out of the earlier XL. They are a little bit shorter. Uh, it depends on what brand you would get. They could sometimes be 15 mil shorter, 10 mil shorter. And sometimes some companies will actually put an X3 in an X2 box and trick you, okay? You wanna be real careful what brand and who you buy them from. Obviously, we've done a lot of research to work out which ones are the best quality and obviously the right lengths that we need. Now the main reason we run them is when we increase front camber, you suddenly you're pulling your wheel in, okay, which is it's going to increase onto your uh, drive shaft, which is going to push your drive shaft closer to your gearbox. So where you've got your end float in your uh, joint, suddenly you're, you're running out of that room. So what you'll find is that on your uh, heavy cornering, uh, mainly, these will actually bind up. So it'll push between your gearbox and it'll push between your hub and your wheel bearing and it'll cause quite a few issues. And the biggest one you're gonna feel is a shudder through the car, okay? Through the steering wheel, you know, just through the drivetrain when you're loading that up. Uh, so the fix for that, um, unless of course you've got a faulty wheel bearing, uh, is to put the shortened drive shafts in. If you are looking for shortened drive shafts, as I said, we've got the good quality ones. We can guarantee that they're the right length uh, and fitment is fantastic. Um, have a look on our website, you can purchase them direct on there.